here's a good option to work to stand up when you're on your back and guard and your guy is trying to hold you down, try to run down your time or do some Tito T's and grind and pound you. So he throws a good punch right here and I create that space. I know the cage is that I can feel it. I can feel the cage is not too far away from me. As I get to my elbow, I start scooting back. He's been trying to hold me down. Okay, now when I'm here, okay, he may go to the waist, he may stay on the leg, it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slide my top leg forward and slide my bottom leg backwards. Right? As I stay on my head. Okay, as I go here, boom, and switch my leg. Okay, he may stay tight waist, that's fine. Okay, now, if he does let go and he tries to attack my leg, the lead leg, that's fine, I can stand up and I can switch. Super easy. If he, if he stays with a body lock, as I stand up, and he may be rough or press me against the cage, that's even better, I just use the cage to stand up. Okay, so if he stays with a body lock, I'm just gonna dig in for the underhook as I switch my leg back to my original stance. As I go right here, and I'm stuck here. Now, I get an underhook, internal, bicep control, forehead and his chin, driving my knee in. I want my knee to be between his leg to split his guard. Okay, this takes away from him to attack me, and it gives me a lot of options. Like I have the bicep control, forehead in his chin, not head down, as I'm listening to his heartbeat, and I can land a lot of strikes, and I can even work on my own takedown. All right, one more time, combat speed. Hi right, guys, that's the technique of the week. My name is Gilbert Smith, I'm with Zarek Jackson, Tarzan, hard work, dedication. Oh, oh, oh.